what up guru jojo and in this video i'm going to be speaking about ways to transform the ego basically through healing from delusion now i know this sounds a little bit harsh but um to be honest it's not a big deal a lot of people are delusional especially at these times when our energy is being a little bit more stagnant um than usual um, and we may feel the need or just we may feel a urge to want to move on with things we may feel the urge to want to start to implement new things or whatever it be but for some reason it seems like we can't really move forward as fast as we wish and don't worry everyone's experiencing that because however you want to think of it we're currently undergoing a standstill. And to be completely honest, this is a benefit. You know me, always look at the bright side of things um, because um, it sucks. Everything I say is always gonna be an assumption that I try to network with something. But you know what, I just don't care anymore. People can believe whatever they wanna believe and it's related to the topic of delusion. So, because literally people's fixations cause overthinking and the application of those thoughts go in the wrong area delusional that's what that is but um what i was saying is that it's a benefit at this time to actually be able to be at a standstill because we're able to then improve we're able to make progress, right? As human beings, especially I feel like Americans, but this could just be human beings in general, we are always on the move. We're constantly trying to manifest something. We're constantly trying to move forward. Like we are still in the mindset of like back in the day, factory working and assembly lines, like, next next it's like we're not living like that anymore but for some reason our subconscious mind is still programmed to function in that way despite the current society that we're living now and this is the stuff that we have to um deprogram or whatever however you say reprogram you know whatever that we need to take away and then adjust into a more modern state to match the more modern state so that's what's going on right now is that we're being told to chill out to slow down and to just actually take in all senses from various areas like and realize like where we actually are identify with ourselves like oh shoot i'm johanna but i'm guru jojo and i'm doing this this and that how i feel about it like you know what i'm saying we ha we're given this opportunity to actually identify with ourselves truthfully and a lot of the times you know, when you're moving so quickly, which which I'm saying Americans or human beings are just used to doing this in general, just just did it, did it, did it, did it, just moving very, very quickly. We don't process information correctly and we're kind of just going through the motions of life so quickly that we're not actually separating events effectively. Everything's merging together. People don't know whether or not the past was the now or if something was the future, like people be mixing up the future with their past. Like you didn't even do that yet. Like it's just like that was a thought that you that you hoped to manifest in the future. You thought you already did that. It, it's just it's a very weird time right now. It's delusional. Okay, some people are delusional because they don't want to face reality so much that now they've created the magic of not facing reality and they've gone insane and they just completely lost it they don't know what's going on some people <laughs> that's happening on a minor scale for some people and it's happening on a more like broad scale where they're completely cuckoo for others
But still on a broad dynamic, what's going on is that people are delusional. People are delusional. And they're delusional because, like I said, they're functioning too quickly and not really processing their thoughts. Right now, there's a need to actually attend to things. Like, okay, why am I doing what I'm doing? That's what's really important. It's actually been important for a long time now. Like, I want to say for the past four years, it's been extra significant to actually understand the meaning and reasoning behind why you are doing something. What I mean is, you want a particular job. Why? And it shouldn't be, oh, because I need to pay the bills. Like, yeah, that's the traditional reason why everybody gets a job or everybody works. Okay, some people work a nine to five job. Other people are entrepreneurs. Other people, they there's many ways to work. Okay, um, my my thing is like, why are you doing what you're doing? Like, what's the additional meaning behind it? The deeper meaning. What's the philosophy behind why you behave a particular manner and stuff? This is the stuff that people need to understand because at the end of the day, it determines your sense of fulfillment, you know, in this life. The reason why we do things and then we end up being unfulfilled is because we didn't identify with why we were doing it in the first place. You know, you get, you finally get a hundred dollars or something like that. I know it's a small amount. I'm just giving a small example. So you finally get like a hundred dollars or something like that and you realize like, that it's not even a big deal. Like, you know, and you really wanted this $100. Like, this was something that your mind was set on receiving. And you received $100, and now you're disinterested or just disappointed. Well, what did you expect to get out of that $100? That's what's important now. And it's been important for a long time to identify with these more deep principles behind our actions like just understanding why we're attracting something like the person who actually knows okay i want this hundred dollars because i'm actually gonna be starting a savings and this is the only way i can start a savings because i'm living um check by check and i cannot save money and if i'm able to obtain this hundred dollars i can finally start saving my money so now when that person gets that hundred dollars it means a lot it actually means something because they really want to start saving money and they have an even deeper value behind that maybe they want to save money to get something in particular maybe they just want to save money just for emergency purpose because they went through something where they went through an emergency type of situation and they didn't have a savings. And now they're like, oh my gosh, like, how am I going to start savings? All I need is a hundred dollars and I can start a savings. I don't know how I'm coming up with this example, but I'm just channeling anyway. Okay. That's my thing is like actually having value behind something today. People just want to, people just want things for stupid reasons. Like, I just want to have a hundred dollars just so I can call a friend and be like, ha I got a hundred dollars. How do you feel about that? Like, how do you really feel about that? Despite, you know, the smile on your face and the role that you're playing while you're bragging about $100. This never happened to me, by the way. I'm just literally just giving an example. That's the problem today. People are losing their identity based upon ego issues. What's your real issue? that you feel the need to do something like that's so basic that you really don't even care about. We gotta heal the ego. We have to heal the core first. That's where the issues are at. And that's where we arrive at clearance, like in order to actually assert our willpower in the proper direction. Because willpower is very easy. Anybody can have willpower. You could be the most scaredy cat person and 
manifest willpower to do stuff. But you just may not be successful or whatever you receive, it just may be stupid the next day. This is where future thought is significant. Um, not downplaying the present, not downplaying the past, but this is where the future is actually significant. Because the present time, constantly thinking in the present time, it's beneficial for your present emotions and feelings, how you currently feel, how you're coherent with your body. Your present is just an affirmation, a confirmation that allows you to synchronize with your actual body. Like, yes, I am and I feel and I am in tune with this. So then it's like you're kind of connecting with your body and that helps you, you know, to just at least move forward in life. A lot of people are not connected. A lot of people are very disconnected from their body. So that's really the benefit of the present. Other than that, you should actually be thinking about how your present relates to what ought to be. And then you should know kind of what ought to be from what you already had, what you already experienced, thus how you already are. So then how do I ought to be? So now people are being forced to be at a standstill because they haven't cleared out their baggage from the past in order to fully be attuned with their current circumstance. So how the heck are you going to be able to plan for the future? So actually right now, the present is very important. People need to focus directly on the present, very much so. Because, like I said, baggage from the past is a reflection of your current circumstance right now. Some people have good baggage. Some people have bad baggage. Some of that good baggage is starting to fade away. So, you know, you may be used to being in a particular vibration, like a particular expectation, right? And for some reason, things are kind of changing up, switching up, and you're questioning things. Well, because things are changing because there's something called time that exists, right? Just like a microwave, do, 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 do. you warm your food up for a couple minutes and then it beeps and your food is done and you got to reset a timer. It's the same concept. Time's up for some people and it's time to start a new path. But we're at a standstill. So... It's time to start a new path, but we're at a standstill. You see how messed up that is? Very discouraging. But don't be. Because right now is simply just an opportunity to clear away delusion. So delusion is basically caused by confusion. Confused emotions and feelings that lead to disruptive thoughts and um, these thoughts, you can't place them properly. Delusions are really just thoughts that you end up applying in the wrong way. Um, so it's like a comprehension issue a lot of the time. On a really, really like extreme scale, this is like people who have schizophrenia and they think that they're in a relationship with somebody who's way at a distance, who does not know them at all. Really, that's like an extreme self-love because the person probably like is so in love with themselves that they're only imagining another person, but it's really just a reflection of their own sense of love for themselves to the point that they don't, they don't even have the ability to really, you know, have that exchange most likely. But who knows? That's a theory. But I do know that delusion is caused from the improper placement of the information that you're picking up on. You're channeling some sort of suspicion about something because something suspicious is occurring in your space. Perhaps it's not even related to you. It could be a message you need to pass over to somebody else. And trust me, I'm the one to know this 
very well because I'm the one who experiences this mistake from others, okay? People will have some sort of suspicion occurring around them and they will place it upon me for some reason because I naturally have a suspicious look and people are superstitious, I mean, superficial. People are naturally superficial. So they see I look suspicious and people just love to place information somewhere where they cannot like place it. So it's like, it's like you're holding on to something that's confusing, confusing. You finally see something that makes sense, throw it on that. So it's like, that's improper channeling. That's delusion. That's, nah. We got to transform from that. That's what I mean by stop being superficial. Start to look at things for what it really is. Why are you suspicious? And start to actually... Face it, a lot of people, when you escape a feeling that you're getting for so long, you think you escaped it, but no, you detached from it, it still exists, and you just are subconsciously looking for anything to project that feeling of suspicion or feeling of insecurity just to place it on. Something that's very easy, like me, who could just like, be walking around and I just have like a look on my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just one of those people. You see my videos. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So it's just, I'm, I don't be doing nothing though. <laughs> I just naturally am a suspicious person. I meant to say that I display suspicious like mannerisms and behavior. Take this clip from a previous video that I have done. You see how I kind of have like a suspicious look to me. This is the reason why I often get misunderstood as like doing something wrong, um, as well as by communication. So y'all have suspicious activity happen around you, probably your environment. You're probably the person who who is suspicious. You're probably the person who up to no good. You know what I'm saying? And then instead of facing that insecurity, let me look up a YouTube video of someone who looks suspicious so I could just think to myself how suspicious they look and make up a bunch of shit. I don't know why I'm typing, like pretending to type, but that's what, that's what's going on subconsciously in y'all head as y'all typing out this stuff on social media and stuff. It's a fake cure, you know, it's a fake cure. It's a defense mechanism. And this defense mechanism can only last for so long before you completely like are delusional. Everyone around you could see what's going on, but you instead made up a story in your head. It's time to move on from that. And you don't have to do it so quickly. You have a lot. You don't have a lot of time, but you have some time. That's what this time is for. You know, not really trying to push forward because you still haven't gained clarity in your current circumstances. Another way to understand delusion is check this out. Delusion is literally like you ever sleep and then you dream and you know this could be like right before you're fully falling asleep or right before you're about to wake what up. What will happen is you'll um let's say that like something is happening in your external environment while you're sleeping, right? Let's say that somebody is knocking on the door. And then this ends up transitioning into your dream as you bouncing a basketball, like you're on the basketball court. And that knock, knock, knock somehow transitions to a bounce, bounce, bounce on the concrete floor. You see how you're picking up on information, but you're actually applying it to a non-reality, which is like your dream and your imagination. It's, but it's in real life, someone is knocking on your door but you're not processing the information correctly. That's what delusion basically is. That's what a lot of people are doing in their lives on a day-to-day -day basis as it relates to their insecurities. And it's time to wake up and actually see the person who's knocking on your door. Wake up. That's all I really gotta say. Um, in this video, as it relates to like what's going on with this delusion and 
the tips that I provided in order for us to overcome it is simply just to actually acknowledge the insecurity so that we can transform from it. We transform from lower vibrations. So lower vibrations such as envy, suspicion, things like that. There's no reason for people to ever be envious. I understand that this is like a vibration that is apparently like everybody faces it. But my thing is we shouldn't because when you identify with yourself and you know yourself, you know your gifts, then why would you ever be envious of another person? Why? Because you compare yourself to others. And when you compare yourself to others, you always try to find a way to be in the same field as another person. And thus, the only result of that that can come is envy. Because if you always try to see how you're like another person, you always find a contrasting factor. And so you always will feel like something is not leveling up. So stop. Stop comparing yourselves to others. Only compare to show how you are the same. If you cannot do that, then just stop comparing. See, I'm a person, I compare things because I, I see how things are the same. Like, I literally, my mind works that way. I don't see how something is better or worse. I really personally don't care. So, because of this, I only, <laughs> that's why some people think that I may be arrogant and stuff. It's not that. I just don't compare myself to others. I really just focus on whatever my intentions are. And I try not to hurt anybody in the process. That's it. So, you know, I'm an empathetic person. So, yeah my surroundings happen to influence the things that I may end up tossing myself into, but it's not for the purpose of competition or envy or any of that stuff. You see, that's the difference because I don't compare myself to others. I don't ever look at somebody else and be like, oh man, you know, I want my hair to be this way and that way. No, that was when I was like seven years old. When you actually come into terms with lower vibrations of the self and you address those issues then you transform yourself see it's difficult for me to sometimes explain certain things because i really moved past a lot of the lower vibrations that many people are still operating on by default that's why people think i'm like alien like and i'm like weird people are suspicious of me and stuff it's because I've transformed from those lower states. You can't find me there. I'm sorry. You can't. Anything that you see is based upon a subconscious influence of my surroundings. Like, for example, I call myself a guru because I've been a guru my entire life. I've been literally helping people and giving people advice for my entire life. So it's not like, you know, I just felt like, oh, I got to be like somebody. No, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I'm inspired by people. Never envious. But, you know, people see what they want to see. That's based upon the insecurities which you hold within you and thus distorts your perspective, causing delusion. We have the opportunity now to transform away from that lower vibrational state. Thank you. Be grateful. That's all I got to say. Blessings, light, love, peace.